In this video, I want to show you how you can combine two tables when there are multiple values in one of the connecting columns in another table. I'm going to show you some of the different examples using demos and also some scenarios on how to approach them. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's quickly jump into this demo that I prepared for you today and with this report it's very simple. We have two tables. Uh, at the moment we have the departments table which has the department names and some of the user ids that belong in that department and on the other table we have the users table which just has the user ids and the name of the users themselves and from the client i've been asked to show the names of each users within a department in a column in the department table and if there are multiple users within a department they want to show the names as comma separated names for each of the departments without duplicating any of the du departments so basically you want to see for consulting they want to see janet then comma john let's say and the solution for this was a bit unusual uh, because it deviates to the typical scenarios that i deal with so let me show you some of the examples so what i've done is i've added a new department table um, that is a lot simpler than the first scenario just to show you how I would typically approach this right so uh, this table uh, the department table has uh, three of the departments that we'll, we want to show and it has one user per department and if you see the users table here obviously we have the user id and the username so all we want is to show the names for each of the departments and to do that is actually pretty simple um, we can create a relationship between these two tables so if we look at these two um, tables that we're using all we need to do is match the user id to create a one-to-one -one relationship and now from the department table we just need to uh, feed in the first name so now you have the first name uh, for each of the users that belong to the department now obviously in our context this kind of setup is not really possible because we need to expect to have multiple people in a department so another scenario is maybe something like this so now i've added a new departments table now this time uh, we have multiple users that belong to uh, the same department so uh, it's a little bit different than what we had before where we had the common separated ones we have uh, a single line for each of the users and which department they belong to so let's say Janet belongs to uh, all of the departments so you'll see that Janet's user ID AA1 is duplicated uh, three times exactly in this department table to signify that she belongs to all of these three departments and even with this scenario we still follow the same solution so we uh, go to the model view and create a relationship between the users table and the departments table so you'll see what it will do is it will create a one-to-many relationship um, which is fine because this is what we uh, expected to do right uh, their um, users unique users can belong to multiple departments now if we go back to our original scenario here you'll notice that we can't just create that relationship easily because the user id the column that needs to match between these two tables are not exactly the same and they need to match in order for the two tables to connect to each other so if i just create a relationship let's say right now if i go here and do the same thing it won't give me any errors um, but what will what will happen is if i bring in the users uh, in our departments so you'll see that uh, it won't match uh, these two because they don't match exactly with the user's id in the user's table so how do we fix it so in order to resolve this we actually need to modify it in power query so let me show you so i'm just going to remove this first and then delete this relationship because we won't need it in this solution 
now we're gonna go to Power Query right here. So here we are in Power Query and the table that we want to fix is the table department combined users. So the first thing that we need to do is duplicate and split this user ID column. We need to split the individual IDs in its own column. Uh, so they have one uh, user ID per column without losing the original user ID uh, column. So the, the one that is concatenated. And I will show you why we need to do that in a second. So we'll click, right click, duplicates, and then we'll split by, and we'll say they are splits by commas. And I want you to um, keep splitting on every single occurrence of the comma. So if I hit OK, it will do three times because um, yeah, we, the maximum that we have is obviously three different instances here. The next thing that we need to do is we need to highlight these new columns that we've just created during the splits. And we need to right click and unpivot columns. So this will probably look very familiar with you if you ignore everything else and just look at the department name and the value. This is actually the second scenario that I showed you earlier where you have uh, one row for every single a user that belongs to a specific department. So a user can belong to multiple departments and each of those permutations is shown in this table. But we can't stop here because the original requirement is to show the names, the first names of the users in the departments. And if there are multiple people in the department to show them uh, with commas in between. So from here, the next thing that we need to do is merge it with the users table in order to get the first name. So we'll click merge and we'll select users here. We'll select the um, joining column, which now instead of using the user ID, we'll use the value because this is the one that we've just unpivoted, which matches with the users table. Now, if we hit OK, we'll just expand this to the first name and we can just disable the original column prefix because we didn't, don't need that. And there you go. So you now have the names of the users in those departments. Now, the last thing we need to do is to combine these values, these first names together using group by. So we need to look for group by here. We'll go to advanced and on the grouping, we'll need to select the department name and the user ID. So this is how we want to group our uh, final table by. Uh, and then what we need to do on the aggregations, we want to select some for now. We will select first name and we will say names here. Or maybe what's even better is if we write first names here. Now, if this doesn't make any sense yet um, and we're only using it because we want to pre-write the M query that we uh, we need for this. And you'll see that uh, we obviously get an error because you're basically trying to sum up first names, which uh, is not a numerical value to sum to begin with. Um, and we just did that just so that we have this M query in the formula bar pre-generated for us to use. And from here, what we'll need to do is we'll just need to modify uh, this slightly uh, in order to get the um, iteration that we want. So you'll see here, uh, this part of the code list that sum is actually the part that um, iterates through the values um, when it's grouped, when it's aggregated. So what we'll need to do is just replace this with text.combine. And then we'll need to add a separator. So this is where we say, I want you to separate these by comma and a space. And now if we hit enter. So there you have it. So you now have the users or the names of the users that belong to the uh, departments grouped uh, and separated by commas. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start working and combining multiple values like this using mQuery. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really enjoyed this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.